project, you will be choosing a landscape of a place you have been before or somewhere you've always dreamed of visiting. And I want you to imagine that you snapped a picture in one of your favorite moments. Think about why we take pictures of landscapes. Is it the colors in the sky? The way the mountains change colors? The way the water is reflecting in the light? Choose a picture that you snapped yourself or find a special photo online to recreate if this is your dream location. First step is to draw the Polaroid frame. You can use your sketchbook or any drawing paper you have on hand at home. The Polaroid frame should measure four inches wide by five inches high. Next, we need to use tape to create the box for our image. I suggest using masking tape, but if you only have clear tape, that works fine too. Make sure to put the tape on the back of your hand or on your clothes to get rid of some of the stickiness. The border around our frame should be about a quarter of an inch on the left and the right, a quarter of an inch at the top, and then about an inch from the bottom. Now ideally for this project, we are going to be using watercolor or acrylic if you have that at home. But if not, I'm gonna be showing you two different alternatives to creating paint at home. The first alternative is using markers and tin foil. When adding the markers to the tin foil, it sits on the surface and will not absorb into the foil. So now all you have to do is add water and it creates watercolor. Once you've activated the markers to be watercolor, you can also mix them to create new colors. The next alternative is to use coffee grounds. Here I took the used grounds from my Keurig this morning. I added them to a bowl and added water. Stir it a little bit and let the grounds dye the water. Then pour the coffee into a separate bowl and throw away the grounds. Painting with the coffee is similar to a sepia toned picture. If you choose to use this method, you will work in layers, allowing the coffee to dry between layers so you can build up values. Once you have chosen your picture, have it ready next to you for reference, sketch it with pencil first, and let's get started. When painting, make sure to really look at the values within your colors. Try to capture the light in the picture and the shadows. All right, I cannot wait to see what you all create.